Now, we need to understand the difference between these two words, prime and composite. A prime number, okay, this is a number, a number with only two distinct factors, that being one and itself. A number where there are only two numbers that can divide into it evenly, and that would be the number one in itself. And a composite, this is a number with more than two distinct factors. This is a number with more than two distinct factors. So remember, factors, those are the numbers that can divide evenly into a number. If I were to look at the number 12, for example, and I were to list the factors of 12, what are all of the numbers that could go into 12 evenly? And you know what? And if it helps you, do them in factor pairs. Meaning, if I start off with 1, 1 and what gives me 12? So 1 and 12. After 1, I would try 2. Does 2 go into 12? Yes. 2 goes into 12 how many times? 6 times. After 2 is 3. Does 3 go into 12? 3 goes in 4 times. These are all the factors for 12. So is 12 prime or composite? 12 is a composite number. What about the number 7? What are its factors? Anything other than 1 and 7? No, so that makes 7 what? 7 is a prime number. How about 2? What are the factors of 2? 1 and 2, so is 2 prime or composite? Okay, what about 25? What are his factors? I'll give you a hint. 1 and 25, right? Is there anything else? 5 and 5, right? But do I need to write two fives? Are there any other factors, or is it just 1, 5, and 25? It's just those three numbers, right? Is this number prime or composite? This guy would be composite. What about the number one? What are his factors? Anything else? So is this number prime or composite? Well, what did we say about prime numbers? A prime number is a number with only two distinct factors, one in itself. Does one have two distinct or different factors? No. no. So this guy is, he is neither prime nor is he composite. Zero is the same way. One and zero are not prime and they're not composite. Now, one of the things that we like to do is what's called a prime factorization. This is actually one of my favorite things to do. I get a lot of, a lot of fun out of this. In a prime factorization, you take a number and you break it all the way down into its prime factors, the, prime, the, the numbers that would multiply to give you that. Uh, there are a lot of different ways of doing this. I'm a big fan of factor trees. Maybe you guys remember doing that. Mm. I used to think they were ridiculous. I really like them. If I were to take the number 12, for example, what are two numbers that you would multiply to get 12? There's no one right answer for this. 
you do six and two. Now, typically what you will see in the book and what might be a good idea for you is to start with the smallest prime number you can think of, which is two. So two times six, and keep using that prime number until you can't use it anymore. Can two go into six? Two goes into six three times. Can two go into three? Not evenly. And look, isn't three a prime number? Remember, a prime number is the number who only has two factors, one in itself. So three is prime, right? Can I break these numbers down any further? No. no. If you say, well, I could do two is one and two, you're wasting time. You're going to be going around in circles, you're going to have a bunch of ones. Ones are not prime, are they? A prime factorization is writing a number, in this case 12, in terms of its prime factors. The prime factors are 2 times 2 times 3. Do you all agree with that? Now, you, may c you can also condense this because we've talked about exponents. How many factors of 2 do you have? You have 2, so we can say that's 2 squared times 3. So that's what the prime factorization looks like. Do you guys agree with that? Okay. Uh, let me do another one for you. If I were to do 54, start with the first prime number that we have. What's the smallest prime number you know? I'll give you a hint. It's the only prime number that's even. 2, right? Does 2 go into 54? Yes. How many times does 2 go into 54? One wrong division ruins everything. What's half of 54? 27. 27. Does 2 go into 27? No. no. The next prime number after 2 is what? 3. three. Does 3 go into 27? How many times? Nine times. Does three go into nine? How many times? And once I've got where I just have prime numbers here, this is your prime factorization. You can't go any further with that. So that means that my number 54 is the product of two times three times three times three. What's another way of writing this using exponents to simplify and condense this? I've got one factor of two, right? But I've got three to the third power. So doing factor trees, and there are other ways of, of doing this, but it's the key part is seeing what are the prime factors. We need to know these prime factors so that we can do the other stuff that we have here with fractions. If you can look at this in terms of factors, in terms of multiplication, the rest of this will be okay. Please practice this.